My name is Justin Fuente, head football coach, University of Memphis. Uh, on behalf of our university, our community, our athletic department, and our football team, we are honored to be a part of this conference. We are excited about the future, uh, looking forward to the season. We know that we are obviously faced with an uh, incredible challenge uh, to build a football program while simultaneously taking a step up in competition. Uh, but we've go we're going into this with our eyes wide open and with full understanding of, of what it's going to take to get the job done. Uh, and we're, we're looking forward to the challenges that lay ahead. I think our kids have made large strides in the one year that my staff and I have been there. <clears throat> we've seen them uh, grow in, in many ways, but most importantly in, in kind of the fundamental principles of what a team is. And, you know, that's basically where we started with accountability to each other and accountability to the program. And, and because of that, I'm excited about uh, this group of guys and and in our season coming up. So that being said, if anybody's got any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. I'll take questions for Coach Fuente, please. Have to raise your hand. We'll bring a microphone. Yeah, Coach Dick Weiss, uh, you're surrounded by SEC schools down there. Do you think this league will help you kind of differentiate yourself in terms of building your own identity? Yeah, I think so. You know, I I, I go back to um, my time at TCU. Um, now their, their program was a lot farther along than ours is, but when you think about uh, what Gary did down there in the midst of the Big 12, and he used to say to us, you know, guys, we don't have to be uh, – the big, the big brand. You know, we can be our own niche. You know, we don't have to be, to use an example, Coke or Pepsi. We can be Sprite. You know, and um, you know, I think that's that's there for us. I think we have an opportunity to to kind of establish our own brand and um, and take this conference as people begin to know more about this conference and the conference begins to earn more credibility on the football field, uh, you know, being a part of it and people know more about it, I think, I think we have that chance. Absolutely. Dennis Dodd, CBSSports.com. Justin, to that point, there's a unique opportunity here for schools like Memphis. All you have to be is the best of 10 this year to get to a BCS Bowl. Next year, it changes totally. You, you know, you have to be the best of, of 55 or whatever the number is. Sure. Do you even go there with your players or no that or? to be quite honestly no we we have talked very little about anything other than ourselves and I don't mean that from an arrogant standpoint I mean that from a, that's where our focus needs to be um, you know on our team building on our ability to continue to get bigger and faster and stronger on our accountability level on all those things that you know go to the fundamental building blocks of a team so we have spent very little time on anybody other than ourselves because, you know, ultimately those things will take care of itself if we take care of ourselves. Coach, I was just wondering, most teams, especially when they're picked high, don't say they don't pay attention to preseason polls. Where you're picked in this league, does it, does it matter? Is it discouraging you have this fresh start and no. pick where you are? No, I don't, no. It's not discouraging. You know, we, we understand where we're at and where we're going to go and what we're going to do. So I don't take other people's opinions and consider that as a step backwards. You know, we're just solely focused on ourselves. We made large strides last year, and we'll make large strides this year. Where it all ends up, I don't know. But, um, you know, I, we're gonna, we have an older, more mature defense, a younger, more inexperienced offense. And our challenge as coaches are offensively to get our young kids to play older than they are defensively, get our old kids to play, um, play their age and play together. And that's, that's, our, that's our focus. And, and, and we'll, go put a, we'll go put a productive uh, unit out there. You have additional questions for Coach Fuente? 
coach, uh, Earl Heath, California Crusader. Can you, can you give us a sense of how the city feels about coming into this new venue, uh, the American Athletic Conference, and, and the response of those that are uh, the, the alumni and fans? Well, it's been tremendous. I think they're anxious to learn more about it is the biggest thing. You know, I think obviously having the basketball tournament in Memphis is a big deal. Um, our, our community is, is excited about that. I think the Liberty Bowl, I don't mean the bowl game, I mean the stadium, is a great venue for, for us to play our home games in and represent the city. Uh, people are excited. People are talking about it. You know, I think people in that city or in our city will reward a job well done and um, they're excited about the direction of our football program combined with uh, the move to the new league. Now, I'm hopeful that they understand what that means, you know, the, the building of a program and taking a step up in competition at the same time. But um, there's a lot of buzz around town about um, kind of a more inquisitive, you know, what is this going to mean? What's it going to be like? Who, you know, who's, you know, to as we move forward in the deal. But there's a, there's a, a bunch of people in the city that are excited about the move.